everybody's happy today. And what we're going to talk about today is I'm going to give you some slim down secrets that really work. Ways to lose weight that actually work. Because, you know, you might know somebody who's taking a grapefruit diet or somebody's taking some hormones or some drugs. Uh, some people might just fast for a week. Some people might just do cabbage soup. All of those things might help you lose weight, but they really don't fix the problem. The problem is your lifestyle. The problem is what you've been eating all these years. I used to be fat, so I can say the F word. I have stretch marks on my chest, the back of my legs. And I was a little kid when this happened. And I just remember I couldn't keep up running with my cousins, Johnny, Paulie, and Mikey. And I just finally said one day, you know, I can't play stickball with my friends, my, my, my cousins, so I'm going to lose weight. And I did it actually a good way in a bizarre way at the time, um, is I started drinking a lot of water. So my thought process at whatever age it was, 10, 11 years old, was that if I drink a lot of water, my stomach will fill up and then I won't eat as much food. Well, I didn't realize what I was doing, but what I was doing was I was beating my hunger cravings. Because in your brain, you have a part of your brain that controls hunger and a part of your brain that controls thirst. This is when you're born. As you get older, these two parts of the brain grow together. And as they grow together, you have a real tough time distinguishing between hunger and thirst. So as an adult, when you get this craving, could be hunger, could be thirst, many times you're not hungry, you're thirsty. So what do you do? Well, if I drink water, I'm not really going to get any pleasure out of that. But if I eat something, especially bad foods, I'm going to get pleasure out of it. You're going to stimulate the pleasures centers in your brain. The acubens nucleus is one of the pleasure centers in your brain. And when that part of the brain is stimulated, you want to eat more and more because you're getting high and you like it. Well, good foods really don't stimulate the pleasure centers in the brain. You know, fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds, you don't go, oh, man, could I go for broccoli right now, huh? But the bad foods, alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, and artificial sweetener, what I call the seven deadly sins of nutrition, they do stimulate the pleasure centers in your brain. So you're eating these foods and you're getting high and you want to eat more. So one way to solve this, and this was a trick that I used not knowing I was doing it as a child, is when you're hungry, you're not hungry, you're thirsty in many cases. So one trick I want you to do, one of my little secrets, is I want you to drink more water. I want you to have maybe 8, 10 ounces of water, big glass of water, before every meal. And the reason is... We're going to shut down that part of the brain that controls thirst, and you may be uh, perceiving that as hunger, and it's really not. So one little trick is uh, to drink more water, and I want you to do that every single day, every single meal. You'll be amazed how much less food you eat. Eating helps because if you're hungry, you know, what, what's the rule, right? Never go shopping hungry because I've done that. I'm sure you've done it too. You go to a grocery store, you shop hungry, and you go, you know what? I go for a little bit of that, whatever it is. Um, I can go for some uh, potato chips. I can go for some pretzels. And I'm just going to buy one bag because I'm not going to eat it all, of course. I'm just going to have a little snack, and I'm going to put it in my counter or my pantry, and it's just going to sit there, and I'm not going to eat it. Right? How many people have lied to themselves like that besides from me? Raise your hands. Or ice cream. Ice cream's a big one, right? I'm just going to have one scoop of the ice cream, then put it in the freezer. Anybody lie to themselves like me? Okay, good. Glad you're being honest with me. And so you eat this food. And you take one bite, the acumen's nucleus, the dop uh, dopamine receptor sites are stimulated. You start getting high, and you go, you know, logic goes right out the window, man. I don't care. I'm going to keep eating. And then, if you're like me, you think, well, you know, I've already eaten half the pint of ice cream. If I put it back in the freezer, it's going to be there, and I'm going to want to eat it again. So what if I just eat the whole pint of ice cream now, and then there'll be none left? Anybody lie like that aside from me? Good. Okay, now I'm a vegan. I don't eat ice cream, but there's coconut ice cream and almond ice cream. And so, yeah, I fall for the same stupid lies that you do too. And so I, I, I say sometimes I can't eat a cookie anymore. I can eat a box of cookies, but I can't eat a cookie. Because as soon as you start eating those sugars, breads, cookies, cakes, donuts, pastas, or the seven deadly sins, you stimulate those pleasure centers. So you have to look at your food as an addiction. Anybody ever go to an AA meeting? Anybody know somebody who's been to an AA meeting? Can an alcoholic ever have some alcohol? The answer is no. As soon as an alcoholic has their first drink, they start all over again, so to speak. They lose their chips. They give them chips as you go along, progression chips. And you lose your chips and you start over again. So you can't have a little bit of alcohol. 
And what would be the worst job for an alcoholic? A bartender, exactly. So what would be the worst position you can put yourself in if you eat too much? Having bad food around the house. So another slim down trick that you have to do is you got to get the bad food out of the house. And don't lie to me. I'm telling you right now, I know you. You're going to lie to me. Well, it's not for me. It's for my fill-in-the-blank. Kids, husband, uh, wife, company comes over. Uh, my dog likes cookies. What, what kind of lies do you tell yourself? Because what's happening is if it's in the house, your brain knows that it's going to give it pleasure. And you, there's nothing to the fact that there's willpower. When the brain wants something, the brain wants something. And you can try to talk yourself out of it, but in most cases, you're not going to. Well, I'm just going to have one cookie, and then I'll feel better. And that's another lie you tell yourself. So you have to get all the bad food out of the house. That would be the seven deadly sins. Alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, and artificial sweetener. And when I say sugar, again, bread, cookies, cakes, donuts, and pastas. Because once you start, you can't stop friend of mine uh, started a new business, and it's a, a portable pizza truck. It's a mobile, you know, it's a mo- mobile food truck, and it has a brick oven in it, which is really cool. And I, I got invited to the, the kind of the business launch of it, and I was there and ran into some old friends. It was really kind of great. And he had pizza, and one of the chefs who I knew, actually I got him a job there, he said, Dr. Joe, I'm going to get you a, a, a pizza, uh, no cheese. I'm going to make you a vegan pizza. And he did. Oh, it was wonderful. It had arugula, and it had tomato sauce and olives, and, and it was just great. So I thought, well, it's vegan. I usually don't eat wheat, but I'm going to have a slice. Had a slice. It's really good. What did I want more of? More pizza. Had another slice. And these were small slices. Had four slices. Felt awful that night. Felt awful the next day. Scratchy throat, runny nose, bloated. I thought, darn it. I know better than that. But as soon as I had one slice, I lost my mind. I want to keep eating and eating. So you got to get the bad food out of the house, and you can't even have a little bit. So eating when you're hungry is it's better to eat before you're hungry because then you're not going to start craving the food. A study conducted at the University of Minnesota found that those who ate a healthy breakfast tended to have lower body mass index than those who skipped the first meal of the day. Now, that being said, you can skip your first meal of the day if you do it right. Because if you skip the first meal of the day and you're hungry, and then you start eating bad food, you're probably going to gain weight. But there's something called intermittent fasting. Now, in my new book, A Prescription for Extreme Health, I have a chapter on this when I come to weight loss, and I talk about intermittent fasting. So what you do is you want to eat, ideally, eat for eight hours a day. So pick eight hours. Those are the hours you eat in. And then the other 16 hours... You don't eat. You drink water, of course. You drink teas and things like that, but you don't eat solid foods. And the reason for that is that your body, after eight hours, starts to burn fat. So if I have a meal at 5 o'clock at night, after eight hours, what would that be, 1 o'clock in the morning then? No, 2 o'clock in the morning. My body starts to become a fat-burning machine. If I eat within an eight-hour time span, my body isn't burning fat. So if you skip breakfast, that's okay, But then don't go crazy at lunch and dinner. Don't go, oh, my gosh, I'm so hungry. I'm going to have a donut and a cookie and a bagel. And No, you have to kind of break your fast. What does that word – what does that sound like, breaking a fast? Sounds like – oh, it sounds like the word breakfast. That's where the word breakfast comes from. You break your fast. And so you can't – and I can't go 16 hours personally. But I can usually go about 10 or 12 hours without food. And so after that, I get a little shaky, and so then I'll eat something. But you want to stay away from the sugars and eat better food. So skipping a meal, if you can, is okay. Just don't come off that breaking of your fast by eating really bad foods. Nuts are awesome. You can do nuts. They're very filling. They're high in fat. They're high in protein. And nuts are great because they're pretty inexpensive. They travel easily. And a study conducted by the City of Hope National Medical Center, overweight adults who consumed a moderate fat diet with almonds lost more weight than a control group who ate the same amount of diet, same amount of calories without almonds. So nuts are good because they they help control your appetite. So if you're craving food, here's your trick. Trick number two I'm going to give you. I want you to eat a handful of nuts, walnuts, almonds, pecans, pistachios, and wait 20 minutes. And this is the kicker that you've got to understand. It takes 20 minutes to get the message from your stomach to your brain. Your stomach produces a hormone called leptin. 
leptin is released into the blood. It goes up into the hypothalamus in your brain, and it says, I'm full. This is why on big meal days, some, some of you, that's every day, uh, Thanksgiving, Christmas, you eat and eat and eat and eat. And after about 20 minutes or a half hour, you go, oh, my God, I can't move. I can't believe I ate all that food. Anybody do that aside from me? Yeah, okay, good. The reason is you haven't gotten a message from your stomach to your brain. Now, when I get like that, and it still happens to me after all these years of eating right and getting chiropractic care, is my stomach, if it pushes up against my diaphragm, one of the first signs I get is I burp a lot. I start getting a little scratchy throat, but I can't stop eating. I'll eat, and I'll eat to the point where my stomach hurts, but I still don't feel full. And I don't have research on this, but except my own personal experience and thousands and thousands of patients and listeners who have told me this, is that you're not getting the leptin up into the hypothalamus to tell me that I'm full. So even though I'm in pain from eating too much, I still want to keep eating. Anybody like that aside from me? So what I do is I go to one of my doctors, and I have a series, a group of doctors that I work with, all trained by me, handpicked by me, and I have a massage or gently pull my stomach down away from my diaphragm. And when you do that, the acid reflux, the heartburn, the burping, the gas, that settles down, and I don't feel hungry. I don't feel like I have to keep eating. I shouldn't even say hungry. I just want to keep eating. So if you pull a stomach away from the diaphragm, I'm guessing we, we stimulate the leptin production, go up to the hypothalamus, and I get normal again. But that's one of the first signs I know that my stomach is acting up, and I got to get it fixed. So we're talking today about slim down secrets that really work. If you're first time joining us, I'm Dr. Joe Esposito. My background is I'm board certified in chiropractic, board certified in orthopedics, double board certified in nutrition, a BS in nutrition, retired dietitian, award-winning author. Uh, I have my own line of supplements that I've created, so I have a little bit background in chemistry, and I've been in practice over 32 years. So these credentials qualify me to give you this information because this is healthcare that really, really works. And today we're talking about slim down secrets and this is my personal diary I'm giving you. Because as a child, I was very overweight. And I didn't like it. And this is my journey that's worked. And I've shared this with thousands and thousands, tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of listeners and patients. And when they do it, it works. When they don't do it, it doesn't work. I know that's a shocker. But you actually have to do something to make it work. Sleep is real important when it comes to losing weight. Research from France's uh, in, INSERM, I guess, INSERM organization, sleep causes, uh, sleep losses cause 23 to 24% increase in hunger, which can mean major weight gain. Not surprisingly, studies have also shown that people who get at least eight hours of sleep a night have easier time losing weight than those who don't. When I get tired, and I'm assuming you do too, you get hungry. My mother used to call it the eats. You got the eats, and you just want to keep eating. And so the reason is that your body's tired and your brain wants fuel and you're not giving it rest. So it says, well, if you're not going to let me rest, you better fuel me so I can keep working. And so that's why it's important to get enough sleep. Now, sleep is a challenge for a lot of folks. One of the things, the biggest thing that I find with sleep is that if someone has the stomach pushing up against the diaphragm, causing the acid reflux and the heartburn and the gastroesophageal reflux disease, GERD, and the burping, it can cause scratchy throat, runny nose, because the acid goes up into your, up your sinuses. When you lay down, your stomach can push up against your diaphragm. Your diaphragm dro drops down to allow air to come into your lungs, and you can't breathe. I've had countless patients with what was diagnosed as sleep apnea, when in reality it was the stomach pushing up against the diaphragm causing the sleep apnea. Pull the stomach away from the diaphragm, diaphragm drops, you start breathing better, you get to go to sleep. Pretty neat stuff. So many times your health problems are physical, not chemical. So in this case, we talked about the stomach being essentially out of alignment or spasm. And you can take all the lotions and potions and rubs and scrubs and pills until you massage the stomach and pull it down away from the diaphragm, your body isn't going to work properly. I'm a chiropractor. The way the body works is the brain is sending messages down the spine, out the nerves, and back up to every cell in the body. If bones move out of place and pinch nerves, you're affecting the function of the nerves physically, not chemically in this case, physically. So if you pinch a nerve, you need to unpinch it. Well, as a chiropractor, we do that. And what, how do you know you have a pinched nerve? Neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, numbness, tingling, muscle weakness. I promise you that about 80% of you listening right now 
probably more, but at least 80% have something I just discussed. Acid reflux, pain, numbness, tingling. And if you can put the body physically back in place, that's the fix. That's treating the cause, not just the symptoms. So we got to look physically as to what's going on with your body. So if you have neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, numbness, tingling, headaches, and you're done suffering, you've had enough suffering, and you say, you know what, I think I'm done with this. I don't want to do this anymore. We would love to have the opportunity to have you come into our offices and meet with us. And let's see if you have something that we can help. Chances are the answer is yes. Every now and then we find a patient we don't accept, but most cases we can accept as patients. If you want to make an appointment, we have offices in Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge. Go to my website, drjoesposito.com, all one word, or Google Dr. Joe with the number one Dr. Joe that comes up on your Google search, and we'll get you set up. You can do it online or give us a call. We accept most major medical insurances, car accidents, sports injuries. We would love the opportunity to work with you, but you have to decide, am I done suffering? Have I had enough? Chances are the answer is yes, but I've had people come in after years of suffering. And they say, you know, I've been meaning to come see you for five years, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, and I just haven't done it. And when I ask them why, the answer is always the same. I don't know. I got busy. I dang, yang, 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 yang. Stop it. Because if you have pain, you're also pinching nerves that control organs. And so chiropractic care is not about pain control. It's about getting your body healthy. I don't want to get you out of pain. I want to get you well. So if you're ready to get well, Go to my website, drjoesposito.com. We'll set you up a time to come in. We accept most major medical insurances, uh, car accidents, a lot of car accident, folks. If you've ever been in a car accident, you need to come see us. In fact, just before I went on the air, I got a text from a friend of mine who said, I was just in a five-car pileup yesterday. When can I see you? So people get it. If you're hurt, get it fixed as soon as possible. Medicare, we even take Medicare. Isn't that a shock? Less doctors in the world to do that. But we'd love to see us patients, drjoesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe. So we're talking today about slim down secrets that really work. And here's something I want you to understand. When you're hungry, and we all get hungry probably every day, you're not hungry for food, you're hungry for nutrition. Your brain and your body want fuel. And so hunger, that little bit of pain that hunger causes is enough to make you uncomfortable and nature's telling you, give me fuel. I've used up the fuel you've given me, I want more. So if you give the body all the nutrition that it needs, you're not going to be hungry anymore. When you give it junk food, alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, artificial sweetener, breads, cookies, cakes, donuts, pastas, artificial dyes, monosodium glutamate, artificial sweeteners like aspartame, the brain says, nope, that's not what I wanted. What I wanted was nutrition, so I'm going to make you hungry again. Give me what I want, and I'll stop annoying you. Sounds like your little sister, your little brother, right? Give, you, give me what I want, and I'll stop annoying you. So what do you want? You want nutrition. So you have to give the body a minimum amount of nutrition just to have it running. And what I do is I take something called Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source. These are two supplements. I have them sitting right here in the studio in front of me. I take them every single day, at least once a day. Before I went on the air, I ran into one of my coworkers, Alan. And every time I walk in the studio, he has questions for me, which is great. I love it. I love when my coworkers ask me questions. And he was overweight. He had diabetes. He, he was really bad shape. He was, the doctor was like, you're on your way out here, pal. And he's a little younger than me. And we sat down. We changed his diet. His blood sugar is normal. He's off all his medications. His blood pressure is normal. And he used to be a bodybuilder, a, a power lifter. And he wants to get back into it. So he said, Doc, what do I need to do? And I said, you got to give your body at least the minimum requirements. So I would take Dr. Joe's Super Greens, Dr. Joe's Essential Source. Uh, again, I take it every day. And if I have something important coming on, if I'm doing a radio show, a lecture, if I'm going on a date, if I'm going hiking, I'll take a double dose. And uh, Super Greens alkalizes the system, gives you a lot of minerals and vitamins. Uh, Essential source is raw fruits and vegetables in a powder form, and it's a complete multivitamin, and it has digestive enzymes in it. Take a scoop of each. It's a powder. I mix it with coconut milk. I have coconut milk right in front of me here. Let's see if you can even hear it shaking there. There you go. I put it in a jar and shake it up, and I take it every day. If you want to get that, and I think you should, at least try it for a month. Go to my website, drjoesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe, and it's right there under store. I think it's listed under, and you can get order those. We have other supplements as well, but today we're talking about weight loss and slim down secrets, I guess, was the real title of the show. And you want to give the body at least the minimum nutrients that it needs every single day. So you can get those on the website, drjoesposito.com. You want to eat slowly, and again, I go back to the fact that it takes 20 minutes to get the message 
from your stomach to your brain. So if you have a snack, we talked earlier about a handful of nuts, before every meal, if you have trouble eating, you have food issues, have a handful of nuts, one handful. If you want to go crazy, have two handfuls, but that's it. And a big glass of water, and then wait 20 minutes. You will be amazed how much less food you eat, how much money you're going to save because you're eating less food. You go out to a restaurant and you want to order a main course or an entree. If you do this before going to the restaurant, you can probably get away with an appetizer. So if you're going on a date, you don't want to look like a little piggy, you can do this little secret and it's kind of nice. And you can say, oh, that's all. I'm just going to have an appetizer. And you'll feel full. You'll feel uh, comfortable. Your brain will be getting the fuel that it needs. It's really neat what goes on when you learn the tricks of how to take care of your body. No one has ever taught you how to take care of your body. I noticed at the studio the other day, they had uh, school kids. They come and take tours of the studio. And I'm looking at these children, and I'm thinking, wow, give me 20 minutes with them. Let me teach them how to take control of their own health. This, I feel, should be a mandatory class. Now, I'd love to be Surgeon General, Health and Human Resources Director. I'll even be on a panel somewhere. If I can get into the United States, into the government, and start changing the way we feed our kids— we will become the world superpower in intellect as well as might and force. And it's not hard. It's easy. I always joke with children. I joke, joke about children. I said, you don't have to be smart anymore. You just don't have to be dumb. Don't dumb yourself down. I keep talking about the dumbing down of America. And I see it. You know, you're at work. Hey, it's birthday. Let's have a piece of cake. Hey, it's Tom's retirement. Hey, let's have donuts. Hey, I brought in uh, cookies today. I want you to realize what you're doing when you do that. You're dumbing down the people in your life. We can pick them up if we bring good food. At, when I come to the studio, I almost always have a box of uh, little uh, individual packets of pistachio nuts, almonds, uh, healthy food. And as I go through the studio, if I'm talking to folks, you know, I run into my bosses or something, I'll just give them a little pack because I care about these people and I want them doing the right thing. And if I can slowly brainwash them into eating the right food, I've done my job. I don't care what somebody eats, and I never ever, if I'm at a party, if I'm at an event, if I'm on a date, I never say, hey, you shouldn't be doing that. I only give advice if people ask. Nice part is on a radio show. You tuned in, so I'm assuming you're asking. But if I can act it out, if I can live the life, it's much more powerful than me lecturing somebody. So in order to lose weight, you have to quench your thirst. You have to give your body the raw materials that it needs, minimum, Super greens an essential source every day and plus a good diet. If the stomach is up against a diaphragm, acid reflux, heartburn, burping, gas, bloating, those need to be fixed. And many times it's a manual thing. We need to massage the stomach away from the diaphragm. And we have to make sure the nervous system is working. And as a chiropractor, we make sure the nerves from the brain to the body are working properly. I'm going to have to go to a break. When we come back, I'm going to give you a lot more secrets on slim down uh, techniques that really, really work. And if you want to become a patient, we'd love to have you in as a patient. For neck pain, back pain, digestive problems, nutritional issues, go to my website, drjoesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe. We'll set you up a time as soon as possible to come in. We accept most major medical, car accidents. Please, folks, if you've been in a car accident, please come see us as soon as possible. Uh, We take Medicare. A lot of patients are cash because with the insurance issues being what they are right now, people have such high deductibles and outrageous co-pays that essentially, even if you have insurance, the good news is I couldn't charge you enough to meet your deductible. That's how inexpensive treatment at our offices are. We have offices in Marietta, Duluth, and in Stockbridge. And we can set you up a time to come see us. Most patients come to the Marietta office, which is where I see uh, my new patients. But if you absolutely positively can't come see me, at least for the first visit, we can send you to the other offices as well. Uh, drjoesposito.com. On the website, we have Super Greens, Essential Source. We have Dr. Joe's Intestinal Cleanser, which is excellent for getting the bowels moving. If your bowels aren't moving two to three times a day, yes, a day. We have Dr. Joe's Cold and Flu Tonic, which I take if I am getting sick because it's antibiotic, antiviral, it's a vasodilator, it's anti-inflammatory. And we have Dr. Joe's Immune Booster that keeps your immune system strong, especially in the winter months. And as we're talking about supplements, you might also want to get yourself some vitamin D3, um, vitamin D3, you can get that at any health food store because it's, it's relatively inexpensive, and that's going to help you lose weight as well. So before, when we come back, we're going to talk about some more Slim Down Secrets. So do me a favor. Go tell your friends to tune in. Uh, my website, again, for information, if you have a question, you can send it to me through the website, drjoesposito.com, 
or just Google Dr. Joe with the number one Dr. Joe in the world. Hey, don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back. Thanks for staying with me. And if you're just joining us, welcome. I am Dr. Joe Esposito. Just wiping my mouth. Had my super greens and essential source at the break. Um, love that stuff, man. I don't, I, I, life's amazing with that in it. So um, I think everyone should try it. Try it for a month and see how you do. I think you'll really enjoy it. And then you could just get an automatic reorder, make it part of your life, because that's the minimum requirements of nutrients that you need to get your day working and get your brain working. Because I'm not smarter than you. And I'm not better looking than you, that's for sure. But I'm certainly not smarter than you. I just make my brain work better. And if you have car racing cars, I know my father had a friend named Joe, and he used to have race cars. And you had to tune up the car just right to make it a little bit faster and a little bit better than the other cars. And that's what I want you to do to your body. I want you to tune up your body a little bit better every day to make it function more efficiently. And we do that through chiropractic care, getting the nervous system working properly. Because if you have neck pain or back pain or shoulder pain or headaches or numbness, those are warning signs. They're telling you something's wrong. Then you get good nutrition in the body, avoiding the bad foods. And the nice part about nutrition is most nutrition is passive, not active. You have to not do something to have good nutrition. And when I say not do something, not put, put bad foods in your body. And then the only thing left is the good foods, which is kind of cool. So that's how you get a, a healthy and a, a normally functioning – that's how you get health, a normally functioning nervous system, normally functioning digestive system, and good nutrition. It's really not hard. It's really easy. And here's my challenge to you. Try it. See if I'm right. Do everything I say. Give me 30 days. And if I'm right, which I am, you'll be happy. If I'm wrong, so what? You saved a ton of money on eating good food and not eating bad food. Uh, you probably slept well. Your bowels improved. Your love life improved. Your energy level went up. But then I'm right, then aren't I? Yeah. So if I'm wrong, so what? You wasted a month of your life. You're wasting a month of your life now if you're eating bad foods and not getting your nervous system working. So that's what's so cool about this. So we're talking today about slim down secrets that really work. Be prepared. And that's something that's really challenging for a lot of folks. I'm going to give you my tips. Always have food available that's good for you. Because if you're hungry and you have food available, you're going to make better choices. If you don't have food available, you're going to make worse choices. I've said before that I, I usually walk around the offices here in the studios with little bags of nuts or little trail mix bags. And the reason I do that is, is I like to give them out to the folks here at work, and this way they can put them in their desk and keep them there. So that when I do get hungry, they at least can make a better choice for the time being. And hopefully I'm subliminally ch training them to always have good food around. Now, in my house, I have lots of good food. At my office, I have some pa food that is packaged that's good. I'll have nuts. I'll have berries. I'll have uh, uh, snacks, uh, n uh, nut cluster type things. And the reason I have that is if I'm at the office and I can't get out for lunch, and you can even have things like cans of food. You can have cans of split pea soup or cans of lentil soup. Uh, and you can eat the food right out of the can. More than one occasion, my staff has come into my office, and I'm sitting there with a can of, let's say, lentil soup or something, and I'm eating it right out of the can cold. And they're like, wow, times are tough. I said, no, times are great. Times are great because I was smart enough to prepare something healthy or just have it at the office. And I have a can opener at my office as well. And I could just eat it right out of the can. So people say, I travel a lot. You know, I'm in my car a lot. I'm a traveling salesperson or whatever. So have a can and a, and a, 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 a can opener in your car. Have a spoon in your car, too. Have a plastic spoon if you want. And you'll be amazed when you start doing just a little bit of food prep. And in my first book, it's called Eating Right for the Health of It. The first half of the book tells you how to change your diet. And the second half of the book is hundreds of recipes. And they're all easy. They're all simple things. In fact, uh, recently I went to a, a little potluck at the studio. And I made some braised Brussels sprouts. And I just took some Brussels sprouts, some oil, some balsamic vinegar, and uh, salt and pepper. And I broiled them. And they were a huge hit. And I bring that a lot to parties because it's different. Everybody expects, you know, a little shrimp plate or a little cheese plate. How about some balsamic glazed Brussels sprouts? If you want to get really crazy, take some, uh, unless you have really good balsamic vinegar, um, you can drizzle that on at the end. Uh, if you have uh, balsamic vinegar, I think it says from Modera or of Modera. That means it's balsamic vinegar. It hasn't been aged as long as real balsamic vinegar. 
and it has additives and thickeners in it. You can just boil that down on your stove to make it thicker and put that on as a glaze. Simple, easy, so cheap. I mean, three bags of Brussels sprouts, if you do organic, will probably cost you six bucks. If you do non-organic, will probably cost you three bucks. Balsamic vinegar might cost you 50 cents. Olive oil, so maybe $4. And you've got an entire side dish. And you could bring that along. Now, I'll do that a lot uh, just for lunch. I'll broil up some Brussels sprouts or I'll do a cabbage salad or something. And I'll just bring it into the office and have that as my lunch. So every morning when I wake up, before I go to work, I make my lunch 99% of the time, unless I have a meeting or something. I'll make hummus, can of chickpeas, a little bit of tahini. Tahini is sesame seed butter. It's sesame seeds ground up into a butter, like peanut butter type thing. Little lemon juice, olive oil, salt, pepper. And I'll a touch of water because it's thick. And I put it in my food processor, whip it up, boom, a couple of celery sticks. Awesome. You feel good. You have lots of energy. And the cool part about this is if you start thinking about how to prepare your own little snacks and lunches is you're going to save time. I know you're thinking, I don't have time in the morning. Do it the night before. I don't have time the night before. How much time does it take you to get in your car, go out to lunch, order, sit down, eat it, pay with a tip, drive, get in your car, drive back to the office? More time. I guarantee you if you're going out for lunch, it's way more time to do it that way than it is to just bring it with you. And then you have time. You can go for a walk if you want to, uh, go to the gym, take a nap. You'll be amazed how much time you save by not going out for foods. And money. Oh, my gosh, you'll save a ton of money. And I do it every day. Now, you can buy pre-made bags of salad. Some of them even have salad dressing with them. Try to get the ones that don't have any meats or dairy in them, and they have them there. And tear it open for $2.50. I saw them at the a big box store the other day. Big thing. Uh, it was an Asian salad and had uh, uh, sliced almonds with it and a ginger dressing. Now, the ginger dressing had a little more sugar than I would have liked. But still, you're eating this whole big bag of cabbage for $2.50. Not bad. So you got to think a little bit. You got to be prepared when it's coming down to slim down secrets. Uh, I take supplements every single day. I take Dr. Joe's Super Greens, of course, Dr. Joe's Essential Source. You should too. And then I've customized a supplement plan for myself. I take supplements for my adrenals. I take supplements for my immune system, especially in the winter. I take vitamin D. And I take a handful of supplements every day. And that takes a little prep work, too. So in my offices, we have little pill boxes. And they hold one, two, three, four, seven, seven days of supplements. Or seven servings of supplements, I guess. And I'll just lay them out. And so if, if I'm, I have a little time at home, I'll lay it out. I'll put it in a little pill box. But then in the mornings or the afternoons when I'm in a rush, boop, pop it right in my mouth. Uh, avocados are great. Now, avocados take a little bit of work because you have to make sure they're ripe. How do you know an avocado is ripe? Touch the tip of your nose very gently. Feel how that feels? That's how the avocado should feel. That's how you know it's ripe. It's pretty simple. Uh, the super greens and the essential source, those are easy uh, to, to mix because that they give you energy, and that's a, a quick on-the-go snack as well. Uh, again, I just mix it in a jar. I save jars that I have, and I just mix it up in there. If you're going to do a salad, you think, well, salad isn't enough, open up a can of chickpeas and put that on top of it. Rinse them out first to get all the chemicals off. Organic chickpeas at uh, one of the big box stores, 89 cents a can. Chickpeas are great. And what I was saying before is that studies have shown that, you know, carrots have nutritional benefits and broccoli has nutritional benefits. And I don't know, um, pomegranate seeds have a nutritional benefits. But when we mix them together, we mix the, the fruits, vegetables, nuts and seeds together, they actually have exponentially more than just the sum of the two. That's pretty neat stuff. So you can get a lot of good nutrition inexpensively, and you're going to slim down tremendously. And once you start doing it, you're going to love it. Downsize. Here's a little trick you can do. Like I said, if you eat a handful of nuts and a glass of water or two handfuls of nuts before you go to a restaurant, you're going to eat a lot less food. If you go to a restaurant, you order food, take your time. Again, 20 minutes to get the message from your stomach to your brain. It's okay to take home food. But here's a catch that you might not have thought of. If you get food and it's hot food and you put it in a styrofoam or a plastic container, the plastic in the styrofoam is leaching into your food. And these chemicals, one of the chemicals that's released is called bisphenol A. Bisphenol A or BPA is a plastic and it, they oftentimes use it to line cans. So if you're eating canned food, you can be getting bisphenol A. The plastics can release chemicals like phthalates and other hormone disrupting chemicals 
that can actually cause you to gain weight because they activate your estrogen receptor sites. Estrogen is a hormone that causes you to lay down fat, which causes you to gain weight, which causes you to lay down fat, which causes you to produce estrogen. You get stuck in this cycle. So if you're getting food from a restaurant to take home, if it's hot, it's not a good idea to use styrofoam or plastic. Well, then you're in a pickle. I want to take my food home because I didn't want to eat it all, but how am I going to get it home because all I have is styrofoam? This is going to sound weird. It's a little extreme, but take your own glass container, a metal container with you, and just put it right in there. It's a little weird, I know, but I don't want you to get those chemicals from the styrofoam and the plastic. And don't ever eat out of the styrofoam or heat it up in the styrofoam. Because as soon as you heat it or if you scratch the styrofoam, anybody ever do that? You're eating a plastic fork out of a styrofoam and you scratch the bottom? That's going to release those toxic chemicals that can in, that stimulate your estrogen receptor sites, which can cause you to lay down fat. Well, that kind of stinks, doesn't it? Yeah. It's easier if you're doing this with somebody. Now, I work out just about every day. I'll go for a walk. I don't like hard workouts anymore. Just don't enjoy it. But I don't mind going for a walk. I walk for about a half hour every day, wake up early in the morning. I, you know, put on my... I'll put on my uh, uh, phone, and I'll listen to some uh, lectures, some podcasts, and that's a little trick you can do. I just had a new doctor come. She wanted to train with us, and I said, uh, well, we don't really have any openings right now. She goes, I'll work for free. I just want to train with you and your doctors. I said, okay. And so we, once we got to know her a little bit after a couple of days, she said, every time I work out, I would listen to Dr. Joe's podcasts. She goes, and after listening, and I have hundreds of them on my website for free, she goes, after listening to you over and over and over again, you taught me more by your podcast than I learned in eight years of school. And I have medical doctors, chiropractors, uh, physicians, assistants, nurses. They all say that. Not all of them, but I mean, a lot of them say that. They say, we learn so much from listening to your shows because we never discuss any of this in school. And I said, good for you. The shows are free. So you could learn what doctors are learning. You could learn what physician's assistants and nursing assistants are learning, what chiropractors are learning, what psychologists are learning by listening to my shows on my website. And they're free. I give them away to everybody. You don't have to be a, you know, a professional to listen to them. So drjoesposito.com or just Google Dr. Joe, number one Dr. Joe in the world, and you'll hear show after show after show. And uh, we have videos too. I don't want you, you know, if you're driving, of course, don't watch my videos. But we videotape a lot of my lectures because some people are visual learners and some people are auditory learners. And then I can teach you how to get healthy. That's an excellent slim down secret because we're talking about slim down secrets today because the more you learn, the more you can incorporate into your life. And as doctors and nurses tell me, then we can incorporate into our patients' lives. And the biggest complaint I get from everybody why didn't I do this sooner? Why did I never hear about this before? Every day I get emails from listeners. It's the first time I've ever heard your show. I've read the first time I read one of your books, first time I've caught you as a podcast. This is amazing. Why didn't I find you sooner? Well, you guys did, obviously, because you're listening. So having somebody to work with is a real good idea. If you buddy up, that works really well. But if you don't have a buddy, I want to be your buddy. I want to hang out with you via the internet. And I want you to listen to the shows, watch the videos, and I'm going to be your buddy and I'm going to motivate you. And when it comes to working out, find out what works for you. I don't like hard workouts anymore, so I'll go for a walk. I walk fast. I swing my arms left and right. In my new book uh, called Prescription for Extreme Health, we talk about cross-crawling, using your right arm, your left leg, your left arm, your right leg to reboot the brain. And uh, in the book, I, we explain it pretty clearly, how to get energized, how to get super energized when you swing your arms and your legs. But make sure you're swinging the right arm with the left leg and the left arm with the right leg. And it, cr it, tr it reboots your brain, for lack of a better word. And it's pretty cool when that happens. So find an exercise that you like and then shake it up. You know, I like rollerblading. Um, I ski, but I'm not a good skier. So I ski the, just the small hills. I don't want to hurt myself either. Because um, I have many friends that have been hurt skiing. And uh, I like to rollerblade. I'm not asking you to rollerblade. I used to play hockey, so I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good at it. Uh, but just walking is fine. If nothing else, absolute minimum, you got to take 10,000 steps a day. Get a pedometer. Put it on your belt. Uh, go to any store. Almost any store would carry a pedometer. 
Uh, I don't like the, using the one on your phone because your phone releases electromagnetic frequencies, and electromagnetic frequencies can short-circuit your nervous system. And as a chiropractor, my job is get your nervous system healthy, not short-circuited. So get a pedometer, put it on your belt every day. I want you to walk 10,000 steps. You walk probably now, if you're the average person, about 6,000 steps a day. So it's not a lot to increase, but you park far away and walk. When I come to the studio, I park far away and walk. If I'm going shopping, I'll park far away and walk. you got to think a little bit. Take the stairs instead of the elevator, and that's going to get you exercise. So shake it up a little bit and decide what you like. I like kayaking in the summer. Of course, I have a kayak, so I'll go kayaking. Um, but I, it's not hard. It's easy. you just got to get out there and do it. But I want you, if you're working out, to build up strong muscles around straight bones, not strong muscles around crooked bones. This is why so many athletes, professional and amateur, come to our offices because they get that concept. Your brain sends messages along the spine, out the nerves to the body. If a bone moves out of place, it pinches a nerve. And if you pinch a nerve, it can hurt. So if you have pain, neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, muscle weakness, numbness, chances are it's a pinched nerve. However, 97, 90% of the nerves don't feel pain. These are the nerves that go to the organs. So I want to get the nerves working that feel pain and the nerves that don't feel pain. And then my third concern is arthritis. If the bones are out of alignment, they wear out. So if you'd like to come see us as a patient, we have offices in Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge. We'd love to have you come see us. Go to my website, drjoesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe. We'll set you up a time to come in. Uh, we'll consult with you. We'll determine if you are a candidate for treatment. We don't accept everyone. We only accept the patients I think we can help. And we'll get started with treatment right away. We don't jerk around. Patients come in and say, so we're going to get started today? No, no, today, right now. Let's go. Because I don't want to waste time. Every day that goes by that you have a malfunctioning nervous system, pinched nerves, bad digestion, bad diet, is a day wasted. And with only 26,960 days in the average life, I want you enjoying every single one of them to the best of your ability. So go to my website to make an appointment, drjoesposito.com or Google Dr. Joe. We're the first Dr. Joe that comes up in Google search. And you can make an appointment, listen to radio shows, watch videos, send me questions, read articles. Uh, if you want to make an appointment, you can do that. If you want to get Dr. Joe's Super Greens, Essential Source, Dr. Joe's Intestinal Cleanser, uh, forget the bowels working. We have cold and flu tonic if you have a cold and flu. Keep it on hand before you get it. It's easier. Immune booster to keep the immune system strong. Uh, we customize nutrition plans for all of our patients. So we may use some of those products, and we may use other products as well I may, may recommend because I want to get you specifically what you need. All that's on the website, drjoesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe, and you can come see us. It's E-S-P-O-S-I-T-O, -S not E-S-P-I. Everybody does E-S-P-I, E-S-P-O-S-I-T-O. So we're talking today about slim down secrets that really work. Aromatherapy can actually help. A study of 3,000 volunteers, Dr. Alan Hirsch, Neurological Director of Chicago Smell and Taste Treatment and Research Foundation. What an interesting place found that the more frequently people sniffed certain uh, scents, the less hungry they were. Fragrances he used were banana, apple, and peppermint. Now, if you're going to try this, and I have no problem with you doing it, make sure you get something called Pure Essential Oils. That's not a brand name. That's what it is. Pure Essential Oils are not synthetic because even though something may smell like apples or bananas or citrus or peppermint or whatever it is, it doesn't mean it's good for you. Pure essential oils are very good for you and have a lot of benefits. They do everything uh, for help relaxation, to give you energy. Some are aphrodisiacs. Uh, these are helping with food control. But make sure you get the good stuff. They're usually in small bottles, and they're usually not cheap. We're looking at $8, $9, $10, $12 or more a bottle. But you're only going to use a drop. In fact, when you're smelling these scents, you don't even take them out of the bottle. Just smell the bottle. And so you don't, it, it's, it's worth it because it can help. And again, these are just some, um, some things that work. If you're using synthetic smells, perfumes, hairsprays, uh, carpet cleaners, air fresheners, these foods, or ch chemicals I should say, have chemicals in them called phthalates and other endocrine disrupting hormones. And so you're messing with your hormones when you're using synthetic perfumes and hairsprays. I hate perfumes and colognes. They drive me nuts. I've told the story before. Years ago, I went on a date with this very attractive young lady, and she got in the car, and she just stunk. I mean, like she poured the perfume on. And after about 10 minutes, I said, I, I got to end this date. I said, I, I can't breathe. 
and it really was affecting me. And, and like for a day or so, if I'm around a lot of perfume, my nose runs, my throat feels scratchy. So, folks, please, I'm begging you, stop using perfumes, not just because I don't like them, but because they have chemicals in there that can be dangerous to you. You can use essential oils as perfumes. Find one you like, and you can find one that does what you want it to do, calm you down, give you energy. Maybe it's an aphrodisiac, and it's a much better choice, a whole lot cheaper, by the way, and a lot safer for everyone, not just you, but everybody around you. We talked about the pedometer. A uh, study published, nine studies published in the Annals of Family Medicine, researchers found that just wearing the pedometer led people to lose a modest amount of weight even when they weren't on a diet. You have to be reminded. And like I said, it's easy to, if you're going to change your diet, or if you're going to work out with a buddy, I want to be your buddy if you don't have one. All that stuff is on my website. You can listen to every one of my archived radio shows and lectures I've done. It's all free. Uh, but just having the pedometer on you reminds you, yeah, I got to start moving again. It's a little uh, proverbial string around your finger. Does it work? It really does, yeah. Writing it down, Kaiser Permanente Center for Health and Research found that more than oh, 2,000 2, dieters, the greatest predictor of weight loss, ready for this, was whether they kept a diet diary. In fact, it trumped, no pun intended, exercise, age, and even measuring your body index. In my office, when patients come in on their first visit, I hand them what's called a diet diary couple of pieces of paper and I have them write down everything they eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, snacks. And I tell them these are the rules. Don't change your diet and don't lie. Whatever you're going to eat, I don't care what it is. Write it down because I have to get a starting point with you. And then we sit down and we discuss it with them. And it's not as scary as you think because patients always say, oh, Dr. Joe, you're going to be so mad at me. I'm not mad at you. This is your life. I'm just going to try to advise you as to make better choices. And it could be something simple as instead of eating a beef burrito, have a bean burrito. I want you to have something raw at every meal. Raw food has enzymes, and enzymes speed up your metabolism. They help with infections, inflammation. They heal the body. And as we get older, we produce less enzymes. The only source of enzymes we can get then, if we're not producing them, is from an outside source. That's why Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source are loaded with enzymes. We heat them at a very low temperature when we process them so the enzymes aren't destroyed. Anything cooked above 110 degrees, the enzymes are destroyed. I don't want to destroy your enzymes. I want to keep them active. So I always say something raw at every meal. But just the fact that you start writing things down is the number one predictor of you slimming down. Isn't that cool? So get your diet diary. If you don't have one, go to my website, download it for free. It's Just print them up. They're, print as many as you want. It's my gift to you. And start writing down what you're eating. You'll be fascinated. Uh, number one, what you're eating, and then you're going to do better because you're suddenly now responsible to someone, yourself. Weighing in, people say don't weigh yourself. Strongly disagree with that. According to the National Weight Control Registry, 75% of su successful dieters weigh themselves at least once a week. Now, uh, experts discourage weighing yourself multiple times a day. Your weight's going to fluctuate within a 24-hour period. Did I go to the bathroom? Did I pee? Did I just drink water? A gallon of water weighs eight pounds. So if you drink a gallon of water a day and you weigh yourself, you shouldn't drink it all at once, of course. Wow, I just added eight pounds. So if you weigh yourself at the same time every day, that's the way to do it. So you have a, a general guide. You'll be amazed how much more weight you lose because, again, now you're, you're being responsible. And that's what's important. And reap the rewards. Losing weight is a process, and it comes in stages. Set yourself a goal. Be careful with it. If you manage to stick with your diet for a month, instead of buying food to celebrate, Maybe you can say, I'm going to buy a pair of sneakers. I'm going to buy this cool shirt. I'm going to buy this great dress I'm going to have. I'm going to go to this fancy hair salon to get my hair done. So make it a game, but it's a lifetime game. Because my goal is to get you well and keep you well. We do that by having a normally functioning nervous system, a normally functioning digestive system, and good nutrition. That's Joe Obamacare. There we go. Let's take over the health care plan. Let's get me in the president's cabinet. Let me take over health care or at least work on the committees and we'll create Joe Obamacare where we can actually get you well. So if you have a health care problem, neck pain, back pain, digestive problems, headaches, please come see us as soon as possible. The website to make an appointment, drjoesposito.com or just Google Dr. Joe with the number one Dr. Joe in the world. We have offices in Marietta, Duluth and Stockbridge and we are more than happy to set you up a time as soon as possible. But please show up for your appointment and please be ready to make some changes. If you're not ready to make some changes, don't make an appointment yet. We're, we want you when you're ready. 
We accept most major medical insurances, car accidents, sports injuries, workers' comp, uh, cash-paying patients. We want to be your doctors. And you'll be fascinated how inexpensive it is and how easy it is to get well under our treatment with a normally functioning nervous system, normally functioning digestive system, and good nutrition. And if you want to get Dr. Joe's Super Greens, Dr. Joe's Essential Source, Cold and Flu Tonic, Immune Booster, Colon Cleanser, my books, all on the website, plus the archive radio shows, and send me questions through the website, drjoesposito.com. Folks, thanks for listening. Tell your friends about the show. We'll talk to you next time.